Today, we will look at how to use Godot plus GitHub in three minutes or less. Why do game developers use version control? So really quickly, before we get started into the tutorial, I just want to state that version control for game developers is super important. It ensures efficient development, conflict resolution, and it just helps when it comes to backing up your code. You never want to work on a game and then realize that I just lost everything. It's the most depleting feeling ever, and it makes me instantly go into depression and not want to work on the game ever again. So I'm trying to save you guys from that headache. Also, when it comes to working in the industry, if you're in an actual AAA studio, you might not use GitHub. There are other software out there. Find a version control that works for you. Let's get into it. Now let's install GitHub Desktop. I'll leave the links to the websites we'll be using down below in the description. Click the big purple download button if you're on Windows. Also, the purple hyperlink to download the Mac OS version. Double click the GitHub Desktop installer. GitHub Desktop will then open after the installation. Also, don't forget to use your email to make a github account github will then open after the program is finished installing and like i said before make sure to make an account and sign into github desktop so let's go ahead and download godot you want to navigate to the godot download page and i will be leaving a link to this website as well in the description you can either download the itch.io version or you can download steam like i said if you have a mac os they also have a mac version click the blue download button to download godot then go to your downloads folder and find that godot folder folder then you want to extract it and move it somewhere that you're going to be able to find it as you guys can see first i move the folder to the desktop then i extract it and boom you have now installed godot make sure to create a godot project remember the project path and have version control on git then click on the create and edit button next click the file button add new local repository button and click the choose button now you want to find your godot project find the project you created and save it on your computer then click on the folder and click the select folder button a red text appears and says would you like to create a repository here instead click on the blue text that says create a repository now name your repository on the get ignore section select godot you can leave everything else blank now click on the create repository button click on the publish repository at the top of the screen and click the publish repository again If you make any changes, remember to save your scene, return to GitHub desktop and write a summary slash description and click the commit to main button. Lastly, click the push to origin button to fully push the local commit to GitHub. You have to do this every time you want to make a significant change that you would like to commit. Do not forget to push your commits. To remove a commit you don't like or it's given an error, click on the history tab, then right click on the commit you made. Click on revert changes in commit commit then click the push origin button at the top of the github now head back to the godot engine and click on the reload button you have successfully removed the previous commit and can make any new changes now godot and github desktop are successfully configured and you can now make changes push commits go to a different computer and pull up your godot project as well